Sipping on the comma, what a 211 in my mind Persuaded by the devil, gripping on my black plastic now Search if I will look that I can hit with murder in my soul Swinging bending corners in the 67 L coat The Red Hair Pirates a mix of mystery, badassery, hockey, sake, and guns. I'm proposing an idea about their guns. They use hockey in them. I personally believe that this is going to be a theme of the Red Hair Pirates, in the sense that their crew is themed around hockey, firearms, and sake. I say this because, when Lucky R.O. got involved with the rescue of Luffy, he shot and killed a pirate using a flintlock. This was back before we knew much about the show, but now that we're farther, we haven't seen much end of series level sniping. We haven't seen someone imbue hockey into a flintlock pistol or rifle, and that is why I think Shanks's crew is powerful for that. When we saw Ben Beckman in Marineford, he pulled a gun on Kazaru and made him momentarily stand down. When Usopp saw God Usopp's bounty, he was laughing his ass off, but he was also seen hoisting a rifle on his right shoulder. The first three crew members we are introduced to, and we are shown they all use guns. On top of that, we learn a bit about hockey and how it worked very partially, from the Rusukaina Kingdom, Amazon Lily, so the fact they are introduced around the same arc is important. To add to this point, there isn't much of anything that can damage Logia outside of Devil Fruit circumstances or hockey, so as far as we know, it could be both. Lucky Roo is the one responsible for retrieving the Gomu Gomu Nomi, and Shanks seemed to be worried for Luffy's sake because he ate the fruit. Perhaps that hints at an underlying theme between Shanks and Blackbeard, Hockey vs. Devil Fruits. Honestly, I think Hockey imbuement for guns would work very similarly to how Hockey imbuement works for swords. Adding it increases the durability, functionality, and strength of said firearm.